Hey guys, karibuni tena kwenye channel yangu. Kwa jina naitwa Rio kama kawaida tupo hapa kwa ajili ya kuendelea kujifunza somo letu la lugha ya Kiingereza. Kama wewe ni mgeni karibu sana na tunaomba kusubscribe katika channel yetu, ku like, comment na kushare. Kama wewe ni mwenyeji, endelea kutazama video zetu mwanzo mpaka mwisho. Tunashukuru sana kwa kuendelea kuwa pamoja na sisi. Bas leo tunaenda kujifunza namna gani ya kuuliza maswali kwa lugha ya Kiingereza. Tunajua kwamba mtu unaweza ukawa unasafiri, unakwenda sehemu ambayo labda wanazungumza lugha ya Kiingereza peke yake. Kwa hivyo itabidi ujua uh, alafu alaf pia unataka kujua directions, yani unataka kujua mahali fulani, unataka kujua maeneo, kuna vitu unataka kujua kutoka kwa watu. Kwa hivyo kuna maswali ambayo utakuwa unatakiwa uwaulize ili wale wenyeji waweze kuelekeza. Sasa haya ni baadhi ya maswali ambayo unaweza ukawa unauliza watu sehemu usika ambayo unakwenda. Kwa hiyo leo tunaenda kwanza na maswali ambayo yanaulizwa kwa kutumia neno what. What? Kwa mfano, sentensi ya kwanza inaweza ikasema What time is it? What time is it? Ni muda gani sasa? Au sasa ni saa ngapi? What time is it? Ah, nyingine inaweza kusema What are you doing now? What are you doing now? Unafanya nini sasa? Unafanya nini sasa? Nyingine tunaweza tukasema What is your father's name? What is your father's name? Jina la baba yako ni nani? Au baba yako anaitwa nani? Kwa hiyo tunaweza tukauliza baba yako, mama yako au mtu yeyote yule. Okay, nyingine naweza kusema What time the train will arrive? At what time will the train arrive? Ni muda gani train itafika? Ni muda gani train itafika? Hiyo ni kwa kutumia neno what. Basi tuendelee na neno lingine ambalo linatumika katika kuuliza maswali. Tunaenda kutumia neno when. When when inatumika kuonyesha au kuuliza maswali ya muda Yes, ya muda au nyakati. Kwa mfano, unaweza kusema when is her birthday? When is her birthday? Maana yake siku yake ya kuzaliwa ni lini? Siku yake ya kuzaliwa ni lini? Au pia unaweza kusema when can I pick you up? When can I pick you up? Nitakupitia muda gani au nitakuchukua muda gani? Nitakupitia muda gani? When nyingine naweza kusema when will James will arrive at the airport when will James arrive at the airport James atafika saa ngapi airport James atafika saa ngapi uwanja wa ndege James atafika saa ngapi katika uwanja wa ndege Tuendelee na neno lingine ambalo linaitwa where 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 inaonyesha ni mahali Yaani sio inaonyesha inasema maana yake ni mahali kwa mfano unaweza ukao unatafuta kitu labda ni simu utasema where is my phone where is my phone simu yangu iko wapi simu yangu iko wapi okay unaweza ukasema where is the bus station umefika sehemu ambayo wewe ni mgeni utauliza where is the bus station kituo cha basi kiko wapi kituo cha basi kiko wapi? Kwa hiyo where maana ni location au mahali. Nyingine naweza kusema where is Paris? Where is Paris? Umesafiri kwenda Ufaransa, umefika pale, ukakutana na watu wanaozungumza Kiingereza. Japo Ufaransa wanazungumza ki, ki, kinini ah, kinini kinaitwa French, sorry. Yes, Ufaransa wanazungumza French. Lakini ukakutana na bahati nzuri watu wanaoongea Kiingereza ukauliza where is Paris? Maana Paris ni mji ambao uko Ufaransa. Kwa sababu labda watakwambia Paris is labda this way or that way uchukue labda basi za wapi na wapi hivyo. Nyingine naweza kusema where are you going? Where are you going? Unakwenda wapi? unakwenda wapi hiyo ni where nyingine unaweza ukasema where will you travel to next holiday 
Where will you travel to next holiday? Likizo ijayo utasafiri kwenda wapi? Likizo ijayo utasafiri kwenda wapi? Baba unauliza ma friends zako, call yako unaofanya nao kazi, unauliza likizo ijayo utasafiri kwenda wapi? Kwa utauliza where will you travel to next holiday? Okay, tuendelee na neno lingine ambalo linatumika katika kueleza maswali ambayo linaitwa which which okay tunaweza kusema which pizza did you order which pizza did you order kuna pizza za aina nyingi kwa hiyo sasa mtu anakuuliza ni pizza gani umeorder which movie is your favorite which movie is your favorite ni aina gani ya movie ni chaguo lako au ni pendeleo lako aina gani ya movie ni pendeleo lako pendeleo lako kwa utauliza which movie is your favorite okay lingine naweza kusema which uh, which do you prefer the red coat or the green one which color do you prefer the red coat or the green one koti lipi unalipenda ambalo ni jekundu au la kijani ambalo ni jekundu au la kijani kwa which do you prefer the red coat or the green one Okay tuendelee na who unaweza kusema who is that guy unaonyeshea mtu umeona mtu ambaye umfahamu yuko labda na mtu ambaye unamfahamu utamweza who is that guy au ukasema who was that guy yule ni nani au yule alikuwa ni nani who is your best friend who is your best friend rafiki yako kipenzi ni nani rafiki yako kipenzi ni nani okay naweza kusema pia who are you talking to who are you talking to unaongea na nani au unazungumza na nani sentence nyingine unaweza kusema Mm. who told you that story who told you that story nani alikwambia hiyo hadithi ni nani alikwambia hiyo hadithi uh, kwa kutumia pia who unaweza kusema who told you that i am coming who told you that i am coming ni nani amekwambia kuwa nakuja ni nani amekwambia kuwa nakuja hiyo ni namna ya kuuliza swali kwa kutumia who alika kwa hiyo tuendelee le nalofata ni whose 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 inaonyesha kama umiliki fulani hivi umiliki kwa mfano unaweza kusema whose house is this whose house is this hii nyumba ni ya nani hii nyumba ni ya nani pia unaweza kusema whose car is that Whose car is that? Ile gari ni ya nani? Unataka kumjua mmiliki wake. Ile gari ni ya nani? Au unaweza ukasema pia whose umbrella did you take? Whose umbrella did you take? Umechukua mwamvuli wa nani? Umechukua mwamvuli wa nani? Tunaweza pia tukaona namna nyingine ya kuuliza swali kwa kutumia why. Why? Maana ni kwa nini? Unaweza kusema why are you crying? Why are you crying? Kwa nini unalia au kwa sababu gani unalia? Why is she traveling alone? Why is she traveling alone? Kwa nini anasafiri peke yake? Kwa nini anasafiri peke yake? Au pia unaweza kusema why were you late to the meeting? Why were you late? to the meeting kwa nini ulichelewa kwenye kikao kwa nini ulichelewa kwenye mkutano hiyo ndo namna kutumia neno why na whose katika maswali uh, neno lingine ni how how kivipi namna gani hivyo how long have you been living there how long have you been living there ni kwa muda gani umekuwa ukiishi pale ni kwa muda gani umekuwa ukiishi pale How far is your hometown? How far is your hometown? Ni umbali gani kufika nyumbani kwenu au 
ulikotokea kama ni kijijini au hivyo how far is your hometown kuna umbali gani kwa hiyo tumwambia labda kilomita kadhaa au masaa kadhaa uh, unaweza kusema pia how many days will you stay how many days will you stay utakaa kwa siku ngapi utakaa labda pale kwa siku ngapi How many days will you stay? Labda umesafiri kwenda sehemu mtu anakuuliza utakaa huko kwa siku ngapi? Kwa hiyo utamuuliza how many days will you stay? How many days will you stay? Tumeweza kuona ni namna gani ya kuuliza maswali kwa kutumia hizi prepositions ambazo zina WH form kama what who where na kadhalika sasa sasa hivi tukaone jinsi gani utaweza kuuliza maswali bila kuzingatia hizo aina za preposition kwa mfano unaweza tukauliza swali lolote kwa mfano how are you doing how are you doing ah uh, manake unaendelea vipi unaendelea vipi au uh, unaweza kumuuliza mtu swali um, is there any food left is there any food left kuna chakula chochote kimebaki kuna chakula chochote kimebaki pia unaweza um, ukauliza swali la namna hii are you happy are you happy unamuuliza mtu mwanamume amekaa katika huzuni unamuuliza are you happy uko na furaha uko na furaha uh, swali nyingine unaweza ukase ukawauliza watu labda um, uh, is it true that uh, you be living tomorrow Is it true that you will be living tomorrow? Ni kweli kwamba utakuwa unaondoka kesho? Ni kweli kwamba utakuwa unaondoka kesho? Hiyo namna pia kuuliza swali kwa njia yoyote ile bila kuzingatia zile WH forms. Ah, uh, unaweza pia ukauliza Am I happy? Am I happy? Je, mimi niko na furaha? Unauliza watu mnavoniona mimi niko na furaha au unamuuliza mtu are you sad are you sad uko na uzuri uko na uzuni uh, pia unaweza kumuuliza mtu mm, are you full are you full je umeshiba umeshiba uh, pia unaweza kauliza yapo maswali ya aina nyingi ila hiyo inayotolea tu ni baadhi ya mifano. Swali so, maswali mengine ni kama ifuatavyo ambao unaweza ukauliza watu. Ndio unaweza kauliza are they coming? Are they coming? Je, wanakuja? Je, wanakuja? Au pia ukasema are you going to the party? Are you going to the party? Je, utakwenda kwenye sherehe? Utakwenda kwenye sherehe? Au kama pia mtu Will you be arriving soon? Will you be arriving soon? Utakuwa unakaribia hivi karibuni? Utakuwa unafika hivi karibuni? Ya yeah, ni maana tu ya maswali mengi mengi ambayo unaweza kuuliza kwa lugha ya Kiingereza. Basi asante sana kwa kutazama video hii mwanzo mwisho. Uh, kama umeipenda video hii, tunaomba ulike, u comment na kusubscribe. Pia mmeza mkaacha maoni yenu ni aina gani ya video ambazo za Kiingereza unataka niwaletee na niweze ku a uh, niweze kuwaelekeza au hivyo. Kwa hivyo kama umeipenda usahau kushare na marafiki zako. Asanteni sana, tuonane katika video ijayo.